Hey, what's up guys? Okay, today I want to bring you another pistol that my buddy James lent to me for the channel. And that is this Beretta 92. Now this one's a little bit special. As you can see, it's an all stainless version. And what a beautiful, beautiful gun. These stainless models, they got something special about them. And this is going to be your 92 FS. It says so right here on the slide. This one's kind of a, a little bit of a conundrum for me. I haven't done a lot of research on it, but we got a lot of markings all over this gun. I mean, you can see right here under the trigger guard, I have markings right there underneath the trigger guard. And then if I pull the barrel back, we got more markings that somebody's done with the Dremel tool right there. So I'll tell you the first thing that I noticed with this Beretta, and that is, you can you can tell it's been used. It's in a little bit uh, worn out shape, but he got it at an amazing price, so it was definitely worth it. Now, you know, it looks normal, and to me, it looks normal at first, but then when you pull back this slide, whoa, that is one of the smoothest slides I've ever felt. I mean, this sucker feels like it's on glass. Oh man, that feel that that feels real good. And it kind of reminds me of my Jericho, IWI Jericho that I had before. And the only difference being like this whole slide frame assembly goes back, the spring goes back a lot easier than the Jericho did. So man, when I pulled that thing back, I was like, wow, that's smooth as I don't know what. And then the other thing that just stood out to me is just how good the Beretta trigger is. I, you know, again, I don't know if it's because this one's been shot a lot and broken in really well, but this double action, that's one of the smoothest and the lightest double actions I've ever felt. Yeah, that, that's a very smooth double action. And then for our single action, yeah, that feels real good too. And here's our reset. And then back on the wall, break. So there is definitely a wall with these Berettas. And I can see kind of what, see a little bit now what Paul Harrell loves about these Berettas. I mean, if his is any, if this one's anything like his, or his is anything like this one, I, I like it a lot. I mean, and then another thing I, I really like that some people don't like is I like how far the trigger is away from this spot right here, you know? That, you know, I don't like having whole lots of finger out here in the front, you know? That means I have to do some kind of crazy stuff with that, but this one sits right where I like it to be at to pull it back and break. So you can see that it has this old school magazine with a little bit of writing on it. Again, this may have been part of a sheriff's department gun or something special. You can see all these, you can see how worn this, these Hogue finger grips are. So he plans to swap them out and replace them with something else. And just everything on this gun screams quality to me. When I pick it up and hold it, it, it feels really good. So if it decockers down, dead trigger, up. Now it's ready to go and fire. And really that double trigger, that double action trigger felt so good, I had to go get my Legion and see how it compares. And man, it's a tough call. I'll tell you one thing that I can, I can just tell you right off the bat. The Beretta's double action is lighter. This is a heavier double action than this is. As far as smoothness, you, you can tell with the Beretta halfway, there, there's like a little click right there. And then it keeps going back, okay? The click doesn't really bother the pull at all, but I can just tell you the click makes some kind of like little bump in the overall travel. 
and the SIG doesn't have that at all. It's just one clean all the way back break. So this is definitely one of the best double action, single action pistols I've ever laid hands on. So hopefully we can get this sucker out to the range real soon and get my first shots with it because I've never shot a Beretta 92. Never have. And I would just like to, you know, get the first shots of it on camera. That way we can all experience it together. <laughs> okay. Make sure to like and subscribe and join me on Patreon if you want to support the channel. Take care.